Alright, uh, time for another review video. Uh, this time, it's we're going to be looking at Hasegawa's 148th scale uh, P47D-25. So, let's get into it. Now, this particular um, kit I actually picked up at a um, swap meet, so... It's a little bit of an older boxing, but the kit really hasn't changed much in a long while. So, one of the nice things about this kit is it does give you um, two different sets of propeller parts. Uh, one with a wider uh, cord and one with a, a narrower cord, which you can see here. And they do give you full set. Uh, moving on. Uh, here we have the various clear parts for the kit. Um, one important thing to note is that the uh, main canopy part has no mold line down the middle, which is very nice, which is always nice to see. Um, otherwise, you know, all details well done. Uh, moving on to the main fuselage halves, um, only major thing to note on them is the texturing on the inside of the parts. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. It could just be a bad um, extrude in the mold. I'm not 100% sure. Um, let's, another thing to note is that all the ejector pin marks are hidden, fortunately, on some of these larger flat pieces, so that won't be too much of a problem. Um, Why the kit does give you decals for the uh, instrument panel, it uh, excuse me. Um, it does, however, have nice crispy decals if you want to just hand paint it instead of using decals. Which I will talk about a little bit. Uh, moving on. Now, the main gear um, bay door areas, as well as a couple other little detail pieces, and the horizontal stabs. Uh, nice, crisp, big cowling for the main nose and uh, attachment point for the various engine parts. Uh, next up we have the upper surface of the wings and nice thing to note here is that it does include grooves so that you can get the proper um, length alignment for the eight machine guns and you don't have to attach them until after you painted which is a bit of a plus. Um, here we have the underside and various door gear bay doors and scoops and what have you. Again, all nice crispy detail. We have various slots for the ejection, shell ejectors. Uh, only real complaint is the fact that they did uh, mold in this section of the landing gear door bay, sorry, um, which does make it a little harder to paint. But, uh, worst case, you can potentially just cut it off and paint it separate. Uh, Alright, moving on. Uh, next two sprues are a mirror set for the bombs and main wheels, as well as a couple antenna and other various parts. Uh, yeah. uh, we also come... Oops with a couple poly caps for the propeller which is a nice little addition oh personally I, I think it's a little unnecessary but it's there and then lastly we have parts for the big centerline drop tank um, underwings pylons the engine which is very nicely detailed, especially for a out-of-the-box engine. The only really undetailed area would be these back cylinders. However, once you get all tucked away, it's not going to be as visible. But as I said, front cylinders and all the very little bits of it are very nicely done. Uh, here we have the rest of the cockpit. Uh, again, excellent detail, typical Hasegawa level. And a couple of little odd nin parts, uh, your landing gear, nose cover, and uh, various other little bits. Stick 
this all away. Now, as I said a little earlier, um, since this is an older boxing, uh, the decals have ye yellowed a little bit, which you can in particular see in the white parts of the decals, which is, is unfortunate, but um, probably if I leave it in the window, let it get some UV lights, that'll break it down. But anyway, uh, markings are for two different aircraft. Uh, one, the one that you can see on the cover and back, which is the one I'm heavily leaning towards building. And then another aircraft, uh, Saucy Susie, that doesn't have any nose art. Uh, both are overall natural metal. So, definitely a kit that offers a lot of detail out of the box. And I would say is definitely a good mid-level kit. As, as I said, it does give you a lot of detail out of the box. But um, there's still areas where it could potentially improve a little more detail in the cockpit area in particular. So yeah, um, overall, definitely a good kit um, to buy as it, for the amount of detail in the kit for the price, I believe it retails around uh, 25 to 30 bucks. Last I checked, I could be wrong. But for that type of price, you definitely get a lot for your money which is always nice in this hobby. So yeah, that is Hasegawa's 140 scale P47D-25. Till next time.